people don't appreciate their flowers. And you know what, if that's the case, we're just not gonna give them flowers. I think one might have come from that direction, but I'm not sure. Aha! No, stop aiming. Good lord, okay. The controller has now screwed me over. It might be time to switch. It was not a toggle at all. That controller just sucks. Which is a shame because I really like that one. Anyways. Man, Kinesis is powerful and I love it. Anyways, let's... let's Let's launch these guys in the lift off. So freaking loud. Back up. No, thank you. Is that one dead? Thank you. I like how the items pop up, so it looks like Isaac just catches them in midair. All right, not that time. Took a while for the item to load. Thank you. Oh, I don't like the shape of this controller. I can do I can deal with it because it won't screw me over. But I don't like it. Alright, where were we? This way. Manual reload, press X. Thank you. X is reload, again. X is reload. That's why it threw me off so much in the first one, is because I was used to the Dead Space 2 controls. Do you get it? Do you get that cutting off their limbs is the best strategy to defeat them? Do that. Man, I can't wait for the heavy-handed hints of doing that in the third game. I should clarify, Dead Space 3, this is technically the third game if you include Dead Space Extraction. Nice, dude, you, you really soared there. Right, just making sure you're not carrying anything extra. Sorry to take that from you, but I need it. X was medic. Then what was B? I, I, X was heal, I remember now. Because I kept wasting all my healing items. And now B is heal. So what was B without aiming? I don't know. This These controls are better. Alright, buddy. Hang on, this wheelchair's in the way. Better not be making me miss any extras. Ah! Oh. oh no! Thanks a lot, Dana. Look, I don't need 
I can only lightly jog. I'm like Commander Shepard. I should have just picked my own route. So at this point, I'm actually a little worried about ammo, because I haven't picked up all that much. That's never stopped me before, eh? Alright. F you, Dana. Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Talk to me. Does he have a little Boston accent? I didn't notice that. I do need your help. Alright. I found you in your roof. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Nekomorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the Power outbreak, node! Shit! Tideman's jamming that signal! So yeah, in case you didn't pick up on it, the guy who tried to get us through the door, but Isaac just couldn't hustle. Uh, that is Strauss, who was the guy in the video we saw earlier. So, that's neat. We got that. And uh, he's treating us pretty friendly. He was excited to see us, although we didn't get to spend too much time with him. I think this is where I came from, but I didn't want to miss anything. Yeah, because Strauss made, wanted me to come through here. Yeah. Alright. Wait, did I go through this door then? What happened? I came here. Yeah, I turned left. So what's this door? Wait, is this where I'm supposed to go? No. So let's explore. <laughs> TPS reports. 11.38, that's two references in like five seconds. That's Office Space and Star Wars. That's great. Technically, 11.38 is a reference to THX 1138, but it's referenced a ton in Star Wars, so I consider it a Star Wars reference. Because who the F knows anything about THX 1138? Uh, also, it's where I get the name of my of, of Flint Orbix 1138 from. That's the whole point. So, that's exciting for the channel, I guess. Big accomplishment. Maybe it was a reference to us. I don't know. It's unclear. Let's say it was that. Anxiety, you spike. Please refer all your registrants complaining of anxiety and or psychological problems to other hospitals. We don't really want to deal with the anxiety right now. I thought that was enough of a spike in cases. This new wave is something entirely different. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm feeling a little anxious considering there's a bunch of necromorphs wandering around, but apparently I can't get any help in this hospital. Although that was probably pretty apparent. I can't get too much help in this hospital anymore. It's not doing too well. Don't trust corpses. I don't think this game is in one take like the first game was. I think there's a couple of cuts. But still, I do really like the cinematic feel of that space. I still love the, I, I think it's still very creative that the entire HUD is part of his costume. Uh, with the rig and uh, also stasis. Ooh, hacking. I forgot about the hacking in this game. As far as hacking goes, that one's alright. It's not too annoying. Also, if I remember correctly, this game... The game forces you to stasis this guy, and he's literally invincible if you don't. In one of my playthroughs, I tried many a time to get away without wasting a stasis on that guy, and I died like five times in a row, so... Maintenance. I uh, replaced Tachyon unit, and did some other nerdy stuff. Uh, still not firing in sequence. 
No, I called in dispatch to cancel next appointment. This may take all day. Everything's effed up. Luckily, there's a stasis recharge right here, so I don't know why I was trying to save on stasis ammo anyways, but... Let's, uh... Yeah, open the security gates, I guess. I'm glad that... F you, buddy. Screw security. I have stasis. Is it gonna close? Yeah, screw you, buddy. Oh, that's rough, buddy. Do you need help with that? Would you like help getting up? Oh no, your back is destroyed. So here's our first new enemy type that wasn't in the first game. And uh... He vomits all over the place and he's creatively called the Vomiter, I believe. I don't remember how... How far he can shoot his vomit. I know it's rather projectile-esque, but uh... I don't know if it's super long range, or if it's just, like, a shotgun. There are spitters. Those are for long range. I think the vomiters are pretty close range. Ah! It's been mummified. How can I stop a mummy from becoming a necromorph if I can't desecrate the corpse? Also, why is it mummified? What's up with that? Is that what you do to corpses in space? I guess that's what happened to Spock. I think. I don't know. It's what happened to John Hurt in Alien. Power Node! Um, I think. Didn't he get blown out in a little mummy casket thing? I don't quite remember. It's been too long since I've seen either of the films I was just referencing. Dooba dooba doo. What the fuck? Nice cut. Hun, if you if you want to make a convincing lip sync, you, you gotta at least move the lips. I know you weren't actually singing that. Okay, you're not convincing anyone if you don't move your lips. It's very clear that you're using a track. Oh no, I'll float too. Or alternatively, Jason! I don't want to die. I'd prefer not to as well, sir. Chairman Donovan, this is Dr. Brooks. I've said this many times, I'll say it again. I really don't like how secret you guys are all being. We don't have the faintest clue what's going on. This isn't really cool for this open for free uh, American society we've got going on in this station. Uh, it's so isolated we can't even tell they have one. We can't, we can't sift through it and see all the emails. If we don't get some traction on this soon, I'm going to have to go to Tynaman and insist and review some of these policy. Brooks out! Heart to heart gift shop. Ah. First off, this is a very small gift shop. Although I guess it's a hospital. Although I've been to hospitals, they usually have fairly, like, side power node. We're picking them up all over the place. They usually have fairly sizable gift shops because you, you, the hospitals, there's always someone in a hospital who wants to be made happy. Um, and there's always also someone who should probably be getting a uh, present for somebody but they rush to the hospital instead, and now they have to pick something up on the fly. Hospitals could honestly make a ton of money with gift shops, so they should always have a sizable one. Do not oxygen in use. Do not no smoking or open flame. Yeah, oxygen in use. I prefer my my space stations to be that way. Oh, I actually did not know this was coming. That was super ironic that I just said that. Okay. 
me. Okay, he didn't give me control of the gun. Thank you. Thank you. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, these things, this is not the only one, spoiler. Uh, these things have some of the best death scenes in the game. I'm not going to purposely die to them, but if I do die to them, I will not be upset because there's some really good ones. This game as a whole has a ton of really good death scenes, but oh, that's a faker. Nice try, buddy. You were guarding a power node too, which I will now claim. Power node! Alright, let's check out the stove. Again, it's very nice of you to have me in your system as an engineer, but I feel like there are other things you should know about me that... Why is this an option? Is this a pre-order bonus or something? Or I suppose maybe just because I've beaten the game so many times I have that available? How much is that? Oh no, I don't actually want it. No, let's, let's keep it normal. Although I bet that one looks rad, just looking at the helmet. Uh, I'll put I'll put I'll put up an image of the riot suit, um, just to see what it looks like. And I'm gonna look it up now, actually. But in the meantime, let's have Isaac get his his true gear on. Music kicks in. Oh, he's so happy. God, I love the suits in this game. They're all awesome. Um, the Riot Security suit looks freaking rad, and I actually kind of wish I had taken it. Can I? Ah, but that's not. That's not true LP mode, is it? That also gives me a huge advantage right off the bat, and I want this to feel like like a real LP. Um, why do I even have this? Is it just because I've beaten the game before? The suit has the highest armor rating possible for a second playthrough. Since it's available for free and all suits retain the highest amount of armor and inventory slots, it is always a good idea to grab this suit. If you start a new game, you can access the suit at the very first door if you already beat the game on a separate save file. This might be a glitch that the developers overlooked. Um, God, it looks super rad. I might... God, this makes it sound like I'm not going to be able to get it at any of the other stores. But also, I want to show all of the upgrades, so I'm not going to do it. But man, it looks rad. I'm definitely putting up a picture of it. Uh... But yeah. I don't know. We'll see if I get it, if, if it shows up in all the stores, and then maybe once I get my level 5 suit and show that off a little bit, I might switch to the right gear uh, for the final few levels. Because man, it looks awesome. All the suits in this game look great. Um, but... Is that a power node? It is a power node! Racking them up! I need a bench for stat. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh shoot, I do remember this room. I do remember what's about to happen and I don't like it. I don't like it so much, I'm just gonna start punching the air. That's locked. I guess we'll just check out this mysterious craft over here that clearly doesn't work. Oh no. Shoot. Excuse 
me. Oh, wow. That was nice and cinematic, huh? Excuse me. It's not dead. It's not dead. Excuse me. At least it's not slower now. That's gotta be it, right? Yes. Whew. Is it gonna do the thing? Zad Bernie, they did the thing. Yeah, it's not happy. Semiconductor, though. The marker you found impeded your brain with self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. I suppose that is a unique form of dementia. You're not wrong there. Only if you reach me in time. Train station, get moving. So another reason Isaac can't remember anything is because uh, he's been put in stasis for the whole, uh, for basically every duration that isn't a session with the psychiatrist. I think. Uh, so he has he's been asleep for most of these three years. Um. I don't think the dementia itself actually causes memory loss. Regardless, that was a pretty cool boss fight. Also, that enemy also has some good death death scenes. But again, I'm not going to die just to show those off. Uh, this is the engineer's best friend right here, so I'm going to carry this around with me for a little while. It's, it's tape. It's duct tape, in case you... In case you couldn't tell. It's duct tape. Excuse me. Alright, friend. Let's ride. Nah, crap. Can I just put that around my wrist or something? Come on, Isaac. You're an engineer, you can figure that out. 